everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back sharing with you what I got for Christmas. I've never done a what I got for Christmas video. I don't really know why, I think because our Christmas is quite modest. Um, is that the right word? Although I got thoroughly spoiled this year, so this isn't me bragging, this isn't me showing off. Um, but I just wanted to show you what I got for Christmas. It was highly requested after I filmed what I got nailed for Christmas. So I just wanted to sit down and show you what I got. I'll start off with stocking, just so you can sort of see um, the difference. As in, I showed you what I got for Neil. So I wanted to show you what he gets for me. So these are our stockings. They are vile. Um, we got them years and years ago. They, I think they're from like Home Bargains or Pound Stretcher, one of those. I didn't get them. Neil got them, which is why they look like the way they do. Just this Merry Christmas, it's like a dark green velvet with a rank Father Christmas on it. But you can fit a whole load of stuff in them. So, I'm just going to pour it all out. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just going to grab and go and show you what I got. So, uh, so, the first thing I got is something I actually really needed. I'm so excited to finally film this video just so I can put it all away because it's been driving me mad. So, I've got the Bare Faced Beauty Argan Oil Cleansing Wipes from Poundlands. These are my favourite makeup remover wipes. Two pack for a pound. So, got those. I was actually with Neil when he picks those up. A toothbrush, extra soft because I have quite sensitive teeth and I don't like a medium or firm toothbrush. So this is by Colgate and it's like a purpley one. Neil actually forgot to get me a toothbrush so he's literally just gone out and bought me one. So I've got a toothbrush. Um, something that I asked for and requested for as a present this year was a lime juicer. I really need one of these for when I, ca I cook with lime sort of twice a week and I don't have one, I'm always squeezing it. Um, which is not a problem but I just thought it's a nice little extra present. I would appreciate a lime juicer. This is from Poundland, I know, because I saw it. It's got a little glass jar. And you squeeze your little lime or lemons up at the top. So I just needed it, so I asked it for, for Christmas and I got one. Another staple that I always get given are cotton pads. These are from Primark 90p. I just love these. I always ask for them for taking off my makeup with like a micellar wipe or whatever. So I got those. Right, I'm gonna put this in between my legs so I can show you. Right, this is really weird. You're all gonna think I'm absolutely nuts, but I asked for these because I saw them in Poundland. I was like, Neil, I would really like these. I know I could buy them for myself, but this is the whole point of a stocking for us is that you buy each other stuff that you don't buy yourself, like essentials. I asked for some knee pads. <laughs> um, it just says, on your knees, kneelers. I saw our floor guy when he came and laid them, he had them attached to his work jean, work trousers, whereas Neil's goes inside a pocket of his work trousers, but these are elasticated. I use floor wipes on my floor and I've got quite a vast area to clean. And once a week I get down on my hands and knees and my knees are in bits by the time I finish the house. So I wanted knee pads so that when I get on the floor and I clean my floor with floor wipes, I don't have to have sore knees. So I've got some knee pads, which I was so excited for. There you go. Groundbreaking stuff here. What have we got? My face cream. This is my Nivea face cream that I love. That was from Poundland. I know all the prices. This is by Aldi. Caramel flavour instant coffee. Like that. It's a good little extra. Orange Smarties are a must. I've got some feminine wash. <laughs> um, I was obviously talking about this in a Vlogmas video. Leave me a comment below, let me know if you have used this because um, some of my viewers have said they use this and this gave them thrush. I'm not gonna use it until this video's, video goes live, but I'm scared to use it. So let me know if you've used this and how you got on with it. I was really excited to receive that. Got me a hand cream which is a cranberries and cream hand cream. Um, an extra phone charger, because I always take nails, because nails is the closest side, as opposed to me walking around the bed. So I've got this on for the kitchen, which is really useful, because my phone dies really quickly. So he got me one of those in like a nice green color. Again, it's from Poundland. Is it really bad that I know where these things are from? I've never had these, Oreo bikes. They look delicious. So I'm excited to give those a try. What else have I got? Them fresh deodorant um, an eye ring I don't know if that's what they're called but I love them I've got one at the moment on my phone 
This one is from eBay. I love them. I've never had them before and then I discovered them last year and they're so useful for like when you watch videos and stuff. And whenever I'm walking around with just my phone, I always make sure I have it on my fingers or thumbs or whatever just so I don't drop it. So they got me another one of those which is really useful. I didn't even know they sold them in Poundland and this is like a rose goldy one. Uh, this is going to be such a long video. M&M's. Love M&M's at the moment. I've got a real big thing for M&M's. P picked this out for me. This is my body wash. Needed some of that. So that's right guard. This smells really nice. Deodorant. Again, need deodorant. Oh, I asked for fingerless gloves. I said to Neil, if you're running out of things to grab me, grab me some fingerless gloves. Because in the night, I get really cold hands, but I still need to be able to use my phone or type when I'm replying to comments or on my laptop editing. So, <laughs> he got me some fingerless gloves. Weird fact is that I actually used to sleep in fingerless gloves because I used to get such cold hands. So, I've got a two-pack from Primark, which are a pound. I've got grey and, gray and black. Love those. See, it's just the little things that I really appreciate. Chocolate coins staple roses again needed some of those this is just stuff that i hate buying for myself what's this oh chocolate orange classic i've literally just opened the one that he got me last year and then finally hot chocolate honeycomb one so that was everything that was in my christmas stocking we normally do a budget of like 15 to 20 pounds we could save the money and not do it but stocking is my favorite bit i appreciate my one pound lemon juicer more than potentially a lot of people would so i love that and then on to presents so i'm going to show you things that i got from other people first and then obviously what i got from neil later on just because what i got from neil is more than everyone else so from neil's mum she kind of gave us 30 pounds each so i had that and i've spent that in the boxing day sale so you'll see what i got in that after this i'm not too sure the order of my videos but then she also picked me up some jack wills christmas crackers now i know she buys in the sales she got these last year because worked the boot sale last year so i got these i thought they were quite cool i don't know if i'm going to be able to unwrap them get the thing out and then rewrap them and put them on my tree because the navy side they're like pink and navy when you turn them but the navy side would obviously go with my christmas tree theme so i'm hoping i can save them um, and inside you have a body wash, body lotion, another body wash, another body lotion, nail varnish, which I probably won't use. You get two of those. And then you've got some hair coils. I don't know what they are. And um, hair grips. And we always get like a joint extra from Neil's mum. So we've got the cash. We've got like a little beauty set. And we've got some biscuits and a pouch of Galaxy and Galaxy Caramel, which is a really, really nice gift. We were really spoiled by Neil's mum this year one of my aunties she gifted us a view gift card which obviously i don't have here at the moment um that is in the drawer so we've got that again from my dad we also got like one of those box things like a gift box present thing where they pay like a price in the suit in a shop or whatever and that was for the cinema again so we've got 40 pounds for the cinema i think i'm not too sure we got 20 pounds for my auntie and then we've got a cinema and a meal which came in the box and that was a three course meal from like Bella Italia, Zizi's, Prezzo and somewhere else, I think it's Ask, Ask Italian and then so it's a three course meal with wine which we don't drink so I'm not too sure how they're going to work that out and then um, a, a film as well and then dad will obviously look after P as well so that was from my dad. From my mum, she, I, if you watch my vlogs over Christmas you'll know that it was um, if you watch my vlogs over Christmas, you'll know it's quite difficult on money and stuff. I actually picked these up on behalf of my mum for myself and Neil. She wanted a little extra for both of us. So I said, can you get these for us? I paid for it. She paid me back. Um, and they are Mr. and Mrs. Mugs. I just can't be bothered to go and get them. I'm not going to lie. Can you see? They were from Sainsbury's. They should have been 3 50 They went down in the sale for £2.60 each. So I just grabbed us one of those each as a little extra. Another little extra. Really weird. <sighs> just got... A thing of cookies which i'm probably just going to give to p if i'm being completely honest so she got that she then also got me a book i showed it at the end of christmas day video it was jenny colgan's a christmas island and i do need that book however it was hardback and i only ever as you can see have paperbacks so i just returned it uh to tesco's and i grabbed two 
paperbacks it was two for eight pounds i paid an extra pound um so i got carol matthews christmas cakes and mistletoe nights um i've read this i read this last year in the hardback form but i don't own it and i just i wanted to have it on my carol shelf I've got a whole shelf dedicated to carol likewise for millie johnson so this is millie johnson the mother of all christmases this is what that looks like um and this is a follow-on from another one of hers so i'm really happy to have these two and then when the mini and then when the jenny comes out in paperback which i'm sure will be probably like september next year then i'll buy that and put that back on the shelf so i got those as my main present and then there's a little extra i wasn't going to show it because i think it might make me seem quite ungrateful but at the same time it's I was a little bit disappointed and she gave me this it's a men's gift set and I opened it and I was like okay this is what I mean by I, I'm gonna come across really insensitive and I should be grateful to have a gift but I would rather my mum save her money and instead of waste it on something that's not really appropriate I don't want to come across like I'm really negative but it just I get really disappointed not dis I know I don't get disappointed I get upset when I think about what people like on a budget and I, I try to do what I can and then I just get a men's gift bag I don't want that to be taken the wrong way I've told her that it's men's and she'll be like oh darling I'm really sorry I'll get you a different one I'm just going to re-gift it to my dad for Father's Day because I'm not going to use it I could give it to Neil but he doesn't need it because my mum also got him one as well so I have a male <laughs> gift bag wash bag that's that said i appreciate my books though even though i returned it it makes me look like a cow but that is what it is then my auntie carol very kindly got me a 25 pound voucher for amazon you all know how much i love amazon and she does too so i can treat myself to books on my kindle or my gel nail polishes which is where i get them i get them on amazon i'm chuffed to bits with this and then everything else is from neil so he went a little bit crazy this year. I asked for some vest tops just because I need them. My ones are a little bit too small and they're very old. So I got this one. This isn't what I got. I originally got um, spaghetti straps, but I don't like them. I like the wider one. I feel like I've said that like four times now. So I just exchanged those. It was £2.50 in a medium, whereas mine are 10 They've changed the sizes since the other ones. So I got one in a grey just to wear under tops i can't not wear a vest underneath the top i just don't feel supported um and then i also got one in black which is handy i just need need those so i can get rid of all of my other ones which is like stained and stuff so i got some tops i got a bubble hat because it's festive it was two pounds and it's in a really pretty green color really like that and then I've spoken about these in my Boxing Day haul, but these are some joggers. I need to try them on because I haven't tried them on since we've just exchanged them. I got them in the medium. I asked for men's medium, which is obviously a lot bigger and more giving, whereas the women's are more tighter fit. So I wanted them in the XL, but they didn't have them. So I've just got them in the large. I'm hoping they're going to fit. They do seem wide enough, but I hate it when they're tight on the leg. I like them to be really baggy. They do still look quite, quite small on the leg. But these are a size... 14 to 16 i hate primark's new sizes i just want a 14 or a 16 but they're cuff bottoms which i asked for and they were only five pounds and they've got pockets and they're fleecy lined they're great and i love them i just wanted a nice new slouchy pair of joggers so i can clear out my wardrobe and that's one thing that i'm thinking about filming um in the new year is like a wardrobe descale declutter whatever you want to call it i really want to film the process of me getting rid of loads of clothes that i just don't wear so leave me a comment below just had to have a battery change so i'm sorry if it looks a little bit off um and then he also grabbed these for me which i actually picked in london and they're just comfy lounge wear as opposed to like trackies that i could potentially wear to aldi i don't think i ever would but i could do and then these are like pj ones and these have got a white stripe down the down the leg and these are so soft again they've got a cuffed bottom ish which is what i was after i've got them in a really big stretchy size because i love stretchy loungewear these are eight pounds which is so expensive for me um oh my god are they these are 12 to 14 but they're massive this is what i mean about primark sizing it just makes no sense so 
got my comfies, which I'm going to get into after this video, I'm not going to lie. So I love those, they're so soft. So now I've got my new comfies and lounge where I can just get rid of the stuff that I haven't worn. I also picked these up when we were in London because I'm trying to discover just a new pair of knickers which is just going to suit me. I'm really struggling at the moment with knickers. Um, I like ones like, like a thong style that go up my bum. That's just preference. It's what I like. But I also need some new like comfy knickers, period knickers, whatever you want to call them. For £5, I've got them in a medium, 12 to 14 they're sort of frilly, they're not too bad. I don't like the white because that's not going to stay white. Other bit from Primark, I think this is the last thing, are some new slips because I always need new slippers. Such a mum thing to ask for now. But these are like rip-off Uggs, white trim, tan, love them. My ones are so flat. This is like walking on sponge, whereas at the moment I'm basically just walking on hard floor so i'm so happy to have a new pair of slippers in my life and i get them in the size up because i sometimes like to wear them with fluffy socks this year i asked for a new diary because i've got this envision that when p's at school i'm gonna be like one of those really organized mums i probably won't be but new year new me you know all that bollocks that everyone goes on about i wanted a planner and i saw this and it's a zoella one i would never normally go for her merch but I saw this and I just really really liked it and Ellie got she I, I swear she got it either it was on a good deal it was only it was 10 pounds or she got it when she had double discount I can't remember but this was 14 pounds and it says Zoella um I've got a great plan planner I prefer the outside to the inside because the inside is like quite light and I like darker colors um, but what I really liked is how it's all planned out. So you've got January through to June. And then... Flip it, hang on. And then you've got July through to December. And then at the front of each... Um, like, this is beautiful. I wish it was just like this as opposed to the pink and the teal. But I just love it. And then... It's got your weekly planner like this at the front. And then things that you want to achieve in the year so here it says monthly goals things to see work well-being books to read which is really useful for me get active definitely won't be friends and family so like each month i'm gonna be like go see grandma or see grandpa or text my cousin or something like that and then it has week by week i'm not going to use today I, I felt mostly because i'm not a teenager and i can't be bothered with that um, so it's got things like that and then what else has it got in it at the back it has monthly reflection which I think is is really good so what I'm proud of what I'm grateful for what I learned this month and what I read and what I watched so I probably won't use them for all categories but I just think it's really good to have that option to write it down and then at the back it's got stickers which is pretty cool not all of it is that sort of useful for me but I do think it's aimed at like a younger market so we've got to do I'm gonna need more than just two four six eight to do things in 365 days of the year due in day off vacay time don't have any holiday important done payday dentist doctor's birthday apparently I've only got four birthdays that I need to sticker um friends time don't need to use a sticker for that and then chill day, I'm not going to use a sticker for that. But I've got them in there. And then I've also got these as well. So, it's quite good. I'm really happy with this. I'm definitely going to make a, a solid effort to use it. Last year I got into calendars. So this year I'm going to do a calendar and a diary. Because I want to be organised. Speaking of calendars, planned that well. I got a new calendar. I got one after Christmas and that was hell trying to find one. I got a Where's Wally one, which was tragic. So I asked Neil to get me a really pretty calendar and this is one that he picked. It's from Sainsbury's. It says 365 happy days. And then at the back, I request this slimline calendar. Ellie likes like a big square fat one with different columns and all of that. She has a different league of calendar. I'd like a slimline. Um, and this is what it is. So you've got just the initial of the month. And then just really pretty pastel colours. I really, really like that. Extras from P. So Neil just did like a bag of bits from P. A new heat protectant because I needed this for my hair. This is VO5. 
not too sure where he got it from but i'd run out so this was really good timing got three gel polishes that i actually got myself and then he's just paid me the money back for because i was buying things from amazon so i said to look do you want to add anything on um so i got this green which i actually bought at the start of vlogmas this is really really pretty it's called oulac this was like two pounds seventy and this is 80541 there we go and that's lovely i then got a shiner lac hang on let me put that in the bag uh, and that's the one that I've got on my nails right now. And this is 079. And it's this beautiful Christmas red. This is two coats. I love it. That's my first like proper Christmas red. I love that one so much. And then I picked up. These are from Amazon if I didn't say. This really pretty pink. Although the colour inside isn't, isn't the same as the bottle on the outside. It's like this pretty rosy pink and I will wear that in spring and this is a shiner lac 80511 so those were extras from P as were these because I picked these out in London Neil was like I don't know what I'm looking for just pick so I got a new pressed powder from collection always get that that's 199 a new concealer my favorite concealer from um, revolution in c3 this is fab love using this with just a little wet sponge you all know i don't really wear foundation anymore can't be bothered and then i got a brow pencil because i normally use powder and wax and sometimes it's a bit of a chore so i just want to try this and this is by revolution i think this was 250 um and it's just a pen um and a brush at the bottom and that is in medium brown i'm very almost done i got like I said, I got really spoiled this year. I needed a new SD card, so Neil grabbed me a 32 gig SD card. I was a little bit worried. I was like, this is wrong. But apparently you put this little one into this and then that into my camera. So I've got that. You can never have enough memory cards when you do YouTube. I got the Fantastic Beasts DVD. This is something I was after. I've got all the Harry Potters and I want to try and get into the Fantastic Beasts. The new ones just come out in the cinema and I've heard a lot of bad things about it. Um, I have seen this once but I don't own it and I just, I'm, I want to get into it so badly. Leave me a comment below, let me know how you find Fantastic Beasts. I just don't really get it so I wanted to give it another shot so Neil kind of got that for me for Christmas. That is what that one looks like. Then it wouldn't be a haul of mine without some books. I am so happy to have these. I've read these this year and I can't lie. These are probably one of the two favourite books I read this year. They were fantastic. This one was secondhand from Music Magpie, but it's, it looks immaculate. It's practically brand new to me. This is Caravelle by Stephanie Garber. I will talk about this in a book video. But I just This is like an American copy. It's floppy. I love it. But this book was incredible. So if you want something to read, read this. I wish I did a book wrap-up video on it, but didn't have time so that's caravel love that caravel carav caraval i don't know and then neil got me this and i just this book if you watch my book review you'll know all the feels for this book i feel like so many of you loved it and that's page two in five years from now i did ask him to get it second hand because i wasn't too bothered about it because obviously i've read it but he got it brand new and it was four pounds from amazon and i just love it so if you want a book to read and you haven't read anything, read this book. It was the best book I've read for years. It was my favourite book. Main sort of presents this year, which we don't ever normally do main, but they were really cheap. We were shopping in Aldi. I was like, oh, I love those. I'd love to receive those for Christmas. I like their beauty range out. And I was like, oh my God, I love those. Um, the first thing is a foot peddy because I get really bad cracked feet. It's definitely hereditary. My dad has awful feet. And they're really dry, so I need to get a good um, foot cream. And this is a foot peddy with LED light. And it's rose gold. They had loads of different designs. I have one with like purple or blue or silver. You got me the rose gold. And you push the button and it like scrubs your feet for you. And I think that was 7 dollars 
And then this is the thing that I actually asked for, was this. I've wanted one of these for years. I remember when I first watched YouTube and they're called a Clarisonic, I think, and they're really expensive. This is what it looks like. So it's basically just like a really fancy brush you can use to deep clean your face or do like a sensitive clean. Um, I really want to get, I said it last year in my New Year's resolution video, I really want to get on like, just looking after myself. I'm gonna be 26 this year, which I know isn't old, but if I don't start looking after my face soon, I'm gonna probably regret it later on in life. So, I really wanted this. This has got the rose gold as well. This is what it looks like. So you get all these heads. So you get sensitive, normal, dermabrasion, a massager, two massages, uh, increase the blood circulation, and a body brush. So I just think it looks great. And this was only 12 99 They do them in Primark and all sorts, but I'm really, really happy to have this. Um, and you've got a three year warranty on all of these products as well, which I think is great. And then finally, again, thoroughly spoiled, but for the price, you just can't complain. I've got a new hair dryer, and this is £10 from Aldi, which I just think is insane. It was like, I can't wait for you to film your videos so you can use all your products tonight. Um, Visage Pro Style Iconic Hair Dryer, dual heat, set heat setting. So at the moment, I'll show you what I currently use. I got a new one, I think potentially for, I, honestly I got it way before I moved to America, I think I got it when I lived in Newmarket and I was, I was at school, so I must have got it when I must have been what, 13, 14, I'm now 25. Um, and then when I moved out of my mum's, I left it there and then she got rid of it, don't know why. So I used Neil's old one, which is rank, it's vile, it's full of dust, it's just not very nice. It hasn't got, it hasn't got a heat setting, I just don't like it. Um, I, it's not something I needed to replace, but I think Christmas is all about gifting something that someone's not going to buy, buy yourself. So he got me this one and I love it so much, it's got this really pretty like see-through nozzle and it's white and it's got the rose gold detailing at the back and at the front which obviously matches the other stuff that he got it's got a cool button it's got a dual heat button and it's got a fast and slow um speed that's what it looks like 10 pounds that's so cheap you can't even get it at that price like the sales in boots so that is everything that I got for Christmas this year. Like I said, I just want to reiterate the fact that I'm not showing off at all. This is just how we do Christmas. It's why I put off doing it, cause just because I'm very lucky with what I received from Neil. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you receive for Christmas, whether you still receive presents. I know a lot of older people or parents just say don't worry, but I like receiving them. I like giving them to Neil. Christmas is a treat it happens once a year and it's just special i will see you all in my next video bye